the literary world has the White Lotus Award, specifically awarded to the annual plagiarism work. Film and television industry has the Golden Raspberry Award, honoring the worst of cinematic underachievements, and the design industry has the Golden Nose Award. Each year, Chinese manufacturers have done well in this award. In 2016, seven of the top ten winners of the Golden Nose Plagiarism Award were from China. In 2018, Chinese manufacturers also took the top three spots in this award. In 2019, China made a name for itself in the design industry by taking the top ten spots in the Golden Nose Plagiarism Award list. And in 2020, China again won six awards, including one first prize. In 2021, the Golden Nose Plagiarism Award Top 10 contest has been finalized, with Chinese products win the first and second place, dominating the award as expected. The Golden Nose Plagiarism Award was founded in 1977 by German designer Rito Buser after he discovered that his designs were being copied. The award is an annual event to expose counterfeiters and raise public awareness of intellectual property rights. The trophy is a black dwarf with a golden nose, symbolizing those manufacturers that use counterfeit means to obtain high profits. The golden nose of the dwarf, which is dubbed a plagiarius, refers to a German proverb that refers to making a lot of money without hard work. Over the years, China has developed a reputation as a plagiarism power. Create a free market, open, let the old people come in, bring the skills in, bring the money in, bring the money in, bring the experience in, bring the wisdom in. China government can't stop the outside, but the Chinese government can. Hey, can encourage the outside people to create. What the outside people do? Make a company, 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 make a company. Over 40 years, we learned to create. We all made a company. Look at the factory, the factory, the equipment, the equipment, the equipment, the equipment, the equipment. 专利展、产品展、市场展、品牌展，老外全做完了。现在，所以我们的啊，杨杨外长和我们的王外长才有资格和美国在谈判的时候才那么强硬。你们是没有资格呵呵这么给我谈话的。你发现回头看，咱四十年就干两次抄袭，一路抄到世界第一排。我们是野蛮抄袭、野蛮复制，什么知识产权、什么专利技术，高再说。可是突然间回头发现，两件事情出现了：第一，美国发现，不让再抄了。第二个，咱自己也发现了，为啥？咱已经抄到第一排了，再往前抄没图纸了。咱回头想，妈的，图纸从哪来？专利从哪来呢？妈，自己要研发。这个时候，咱政府立刻提出一个，从现在开始啊，要明白哈。但是话不能那么说呀，咱就提出个口号，叫“发展才是硬道理”。现在把它撕下来，换成什么？创新才是第一生产力。这政府老早在五年前、十年前，政府都口号都喊出来，咱只是不知道而已。This Chinese communist expert is telling the truth. Huawei's growth path for more than a decade has been described by foreign media as a path of technology theft. When the Three Gorges project was completed, the CCP stated on government website that with the Three Gorges project, Chinese enterprises have successfully taken three major steps: technology transfer, digestion, and absorption. Independent innovation, which is called the Three Gorges model by the water and electricity industry. On June 28th, the world's second-largest hydropower station, Bai Hetan, launched its first-generation unit. As reported by the mainland media, Bai Hetan Hydropower Station's turbine generator unit has a capacity of 1 million kilowatts, ranking first in the world, and is the Mount Everest of the world's hydropower industry. Bai Hetan Hydropower Station has created six world's first. And more importantly, the independent innovation, intelligent manufacturing, and a series of technological research and innovation during the construction have demonstrated China's complete industrial chain. However, such world-leading technology has been recently claimed as a copied product by famous hydraulic experts. What is going on? Is independent innovation or plagiarism? Bai Hetan Reservoir Dam Project, located at the border of Liangshan Prefecture in Sichuan Province and Zhaotong City in Yunnan Province, is the second of the four hydraulic power stations in the lower stream of Jingsha River, which is also invested by the Three Gorges Group.
In 2010, the Baihetan Reservoir Dam project began construction with the total installed capacity of 16 million kilowatts, which has been under construction for almost 11 years by now. However, the completion of the Baihetan Hydroelectric Power Station will replace the Itapu Hydroelectric Power Station located on the border between Brazil and Paraguay, which is the second largest in the world. The Three Gorges Hydroelectric Power Station, built in 1992, had a hydroelectric generating unit of only 320,000 kilowatts. But 30 years later, the current Baihetan is now a self-designed 1 million kilowatt hydroelectric generating unit. However, Mr. Wang Wei Luo, a renowned water expert living in Germany, believes that this leap is a proof of essence of the 40 years of economic reform and opening up by the Chinese Communist Party, which is a plagiarism. In September 2005, the Chinese government published an article on the official website, the nationalization of the Three Gorges mega-generating unit across the 30-year gap with foreign countries. The article said that the Three Gorges plan to design and install 700,000 kilowatt of mega-generating unit. But at the time, China did not have such design and installation capabilities. So the Communist Party of China's Three Gorges Construction Committee decided to allow the Three Gorges to take a role called combination of the technology in trade, technology transfer, joint design, corporation and production, Harbin Electric Machinery Company Limited and Dongfang Electric Machinery Company Limited is the technology transferee. The following is the situations of the bidding for the Three Gorges in that year. In June 1996, the China Three Gorges Corporation announced the procurement of 14,700,000 kilowatt hydroelectric generating units. In a 2,000-page tender document, technical standards and technology transfer terms were stipulated, mainly involving two major terms. First, the bidder would be fully responsible for the economic and technical needs of the equipment supplied. And must work with a qualified Chinese manufacturer to design and manufacture the equipment. Second, the bidder must transfer core technology and train Chinese personnel to a Chinese manufacturer. In addition, Chinese companies must be the main manufacturers of the two units. In other words, not only did the foreign companies provide the equipment, drawings, and technology. But they had to teach the Chinese factories of how to make those two units. As the largest hydroelectric power station in the world, the tender of the Three Gorges hydroelectric power station attracted many international companies. Finally, in 1997, the supply group of Astom and ABB won the tender of the A units, and Harbin Electric Co. participated in the co-production. GE, Voif. And Siemens formed a supply group VGS, winning the tender for the rest of the six units. An Oriental Electric company participated in the cooperative manufacturing with them. The article on the Chinese official website said the tempting big cake of the Three Gorges project made the qualified foreign bidder fully respond to the terms of the technology transfer. And at the same time, commit to the transfer of the software source program for the unit design. Technology learning or mandatory technology transfer. It seems that these foreign investors who won the tender voluntarily agreed to the technology transfer, as the CCP itself said. The Chinese side did not force them to do so. So is this considered plagiarism by the CCP? Regarding to this question, Wang Wei Luo believes that if an agreement is reached based on voluntary negotiation between two companies, it is a commercial act. If the government is involved, as in the case of the Three Gorges projects, forcing the other party to provide all the drawings and help the Chinese companies to build the facilities, then this is a forced transfer of technology, which is an act of technology interference or technology theft. 
In 2019, Dorcha Welly also published an article about the key to determine if a technology transfer is mandatory, is whether the government interferes with the transfer of technology in business-to-business -business trade. The Three Gorges Project is a government project of the CCP and was promoted by former Chinese Premier Li Peng himself. At the time, the general manager of the Three Gorges Development Corporation had to report directly to Li. In other words, the importation of 700,000 kilowatt hydroelectric generating unit for the Three Gorges project was not a normal and equal trade between Chinese and the foreign enterprises, but a mandatory technology transfer by the Chinese Communist government using its market advantage. During the construction of the Three Gorges, Harbin Electric learned key technologies from Francis Alstom and sent nearly 100 people abroad to learn. Oriental Electric also received a training from the supply group VGS. The engineers of a Western supplier felt very painful in such process. In his book, The Future of Water, Eric Orsina, a member of the French Academy of Sciences, wrote a special section called The Three Gorges and 32 Turbines in which he mentioned an engineer from Alstom who installed the turbines in the Three Gorges. This engineer said that the entire project of the Three Gorges has 32 turbines. Alstom was responsible for the construction and installation of 14 of them. So how did China install the remaining 18? Those 18s are all copies of Alstom's engineering work. In order to win the contract for the 14 turbines, Alstom had to provide all the drawings. The Chinese side just easily copied them to build the rest of the 18 units. The engineer Morris said he was distressed that there was no mention of Alstom during the construction of the dam, and that he could not see the words Alstom in any of the documents, as if the Chinese had really done it all independently. Morris also said they were interviewed on TV and newspapers on the day of the completion of the Three Gorges project in other countries. And also there was a lot of joy in Alstom because they were recognized for their work. However, it was different in China. Morris said they were nothing there, but a subcontractor at a very best. It seems that this big cake offered by the Chinese Communist Party looked appealing, but those who took it did not feel pleased because they lost more than they've gained. The government's decision to launch the project was a political deal between Li Peng and the former party leader Jiang Zemin. At that time, Jiang Zemin was eager to form an alliance with Li Peng, the former premier of the Communist Party of China, to consolidate his leadership position. So Jiang Zemin personally pushed the Three Gorges Project motion through the Communist Party's National People's Congress. However, the Three Gorges Dam has caused serious flooding hazards, and since its construction, flooding has occurred almost every year in Thousand China. According to the feng shui point of view in traditional Chinese culture, some Chinese people believe that the Three Gorges Dam has cut off the dragon vein of Chinese people and destroyed the feng shui of China, resulting in a series of disasters in the Three Gorges Valley. With the technical foundation paved by the previous Three Gorges, the Baihetan hydropower station now has six worlds first that the CCP is proud of. However, the Golden Nose Award did not nominate it. Perhaps it is due to the dereliction of duty of the judges of this year.